that's kick. Good evening. It's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday, and I hope that you are tuning into this second episode of The Escape, where your inhibitions can take a little break with Maya the Activist. And we're going to be talking a little bit about security today. Like, what does that mean? What is security? Like, what's security to y'all? For me, security is like, I feel safe with you and it doesn't necessarily mean financial security i think security defines itself depending on the relationship but if i can feel safe with you physically i'm secured because i can make my own money i can buy my own things but like if i don't feel safe emotionally or physically with you then it's like just dead it so that's my question for y'all like what does security mean for you Please yeah, comment moving on to the me. questions that y'all asked me. One of which is how do you set boundaries? What is your approach? Like what things do you do to set boundaries? First of all, you have to learn how to set boundaries. You just don't come out here being like, no, yes, no. Yeah. I mean, well, first of all, some of us do. Some of us are like natural at it. And I'm jealous because she was not born that way. I was born, definitely born to be a humanitarian I had that energy and then I became like a people pleaser on top of that so it was like a nasty mix and I'm still learning how to set boundaries so I guess that's why I have some tools and artilleries that I can teach y'all because I'm not great at it so the first thing I would say with setting a boundary is figure out what, where these boundaries need to be had where they need to be put you know do they need to be put on the left do they need to be put on the right on the west wing over here over there I think you need to really figure out like what isn't being bound in your life. What is, what are you allowing to run freely in your life besides you? Like you should be the wildest person in your life. You should be the starring actor in your life. Okay. So if you're having issues with setting boundaries, you need to very much clearly spell out to yourself first, what needs a boundary and where. And how tall do I need a wall of China or do I just need a little baby uh, proof wreck to keep you from jumping over? Like how well behaved are these people that we're setting boundaries from? Are they uh, like an army or is it just a innocent little lamb who just got away with murder and I ha I'm the problem? Is it someone who's a tyrant? Is it someone that I need to put my foot on their absolute neck? Like you need to really just... Absorb the whole situation. Like really absorb the whole information because that's going to be vital on your next move, which is actually putting the boundary up. That will tell you whether or not you need to be aggressive when you put the boundary up, meaning you need to be very blunt, very straightforward. Is it someone where you can like hint to and they're going to get the message? How you put the boundary up is going to be very much so dictated on who you're trying to bound or what you're trying to bound and where the boundary lies. If it's more of an emotional boundary, you might need to work a little harder on it, spend more time on it. Is it a financial boundary? Do you need to kind of manipulate your mind into thinking that you're saving money, but you're not? Maybe you need to bound yourself. Like that is a very in-depth conversation on like how to set boundaries. But for starters, know what it is, know where it is, how strong this boundary needs to be. And the next step, honestly, is just to do it because you're not going to be great at it the first time. Yeah. Of course very few people who are like good at things the first time when they do it no matter what they tell you so practice 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 is my step number three and if that means you have to what i do sometimes is be like this is my week of no or this is my day where i'm gonna say no and that is me teaching myself on how to set boundaries because my problem is not time management my problem is not that my plate is too full my problem is that i do not know how to set boundaries which leads to me having poor time management because i'm helping all these people and it sucks but i also feel very fulfilled so i have to figure out a way of filtering that put a lid on it honey and that is that is okay also, being okay with saying no, this is my last step, being okay with saying no, being okay with putting the boundary down 
and, and people just want to have to accept that if they really mess with you, if they really a good person who understands the struggle of one, putting the struggle of one, putting the boundary down in the first place and two, you trying to respect yourself and your items. Like anybody that has worked hard for anything should not have an issue with you setting a boundary. That is it. That is all. If you have value in your time and your energy and the things that you invested that you also want to put a lid on, then you shouldn't have an issue with someone else doing it. And that's just being grown about it. But yeah, that those, those are my steps of setting boundaries. And those are the things that I am working on. Um, <laughs> two, the next question I got, which one is more important, kindness or honesty? Like, which one? Which one do we need? Which one is more important in society? And for me, for me, they go hand in hand. They're the same daggone thing as far as I'm concerned. I was like, what? Wait, wait, where's the question? I don't understand I, it at first. Like, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. And here's why. I was always taught clarity equals kindness. And and you being clear, you, you have to be honest. I mean, you don't have to be, but if we're clearing the air, that generally means that we're clearing up any misunderstandings, um, any lies, any assumptions made in the situation. And in doing so, you are indeed being kind. So to me, honesty and kindness go hand in hand because that is now relinquishing people in the situation and allowing them to move past the situation. It's allowing them to get over it. And that is the nicest thing that you can do for somebody is setting them free. And to be honest, a lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people want you to keep going on with the drama. They want they want you to keep playing your role. Keep being a part of the bullshit. So they're not going to release you from a situation that they're enjoying or is at least entertained in watching, you know, whether they want to admit it to themselves or not. So sometimes you're going to have to relinquish yourself. But in, in that question, to answer your question without going into anything else, I feel like yeah, they're the same thing. You can't have one without the other. So n neither one is more important. The other one begets the other. I, I, I just, I guess that's the only way I can say it. Um, yeah, so let's move on to this third question, this third topic in the episode. I feel like this episode is flying by, you guys. Let's take a slow, let's, let's take a moment to just slow down. That's how that slow moment was just came and gone that's that's how i operate i'm sorry guys if i get excited i'm like okay we can slow down and then let's go and let's go but let's go let's get into the next topic the next topic is i do not trust easily how do i start how do i fix it <sighs> oh baby this is tough because i Think that you should trust people to be themselves. I don't want you to be naive by any means. Uh, the fact that you do not trust people could mean that you are protecting yourself too. And I think you should unpack why you feel like you need to do that. But being a little cautious never hurt anybody. As you know, I'm the type of person where I'm just like, balance is key so you being a little cautious is going to help keep you safe from people who are really actually out here to just take advantage of people who are genuinely nice but at the same time it could block your blessings a little bit it could keep you from experiencing things to its optimal potential and that also is an issue so if you are feeling like it's getting to the point where i i trust i don't trust people to the point where i don't move on things that i should be moving on i'm not having relationships that i should be having i'm not feeling like i am healthy as it pertains to being sociable and allowing things in i think you should one talk to a therapist 
unpack where this started because it probably didn't just start with the person that you realized that you didn't trust. You know what I mean? It didn't start with that it moment. Like start in that one moment in that one interaction when you realize, hmm, I'm not the most trusting individual. Like it definitely probably started somewhere else. And I'm not saying it's anything wrong with you when I say talk to a therapist, but I feel like sometimes speaking in those forums allows you to unpack things that you normally wouldn't do on your own or talking to friends and family. And I notice that I'm not a trusting person either. I'm normally very cautious and a little skeptical. And it does get in the way of me doing things and moving on interactions that I should be having. And so what I decide to do with that is start working on my perception of when I'm engaging with people. What am I thinking? Like what thought process am I having? A lot of times I'm like, why are you around? Why are you interested? And I know where that comes from. And I I decided to unpack that. And I realized that it really comes from my own fears of, you know, people not really going to like accept me when it's time to get to know me. Uh, Or when I do trust people, they really don't know how to handle me or my emotions the way I want to be handled so I don't always trust people with those things I tend to hold things that are really sacred to me tight to my best and so those are things that I'm choosing to work through but that's what I mean you know spend some time unpacking why you're not trusting people because it once again I I just never feel like situations are situational for the most part I normally look back and be like where did this come from where did this start like there's very rare times where I can honestly say I'm feeling this situation because of this situation no please comment please i'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say on this week's episode about security and the reason why i picked that one is because we talked a lot about setting boundaries we talked a lot about not trusting people we talked a lot about um kindness and being honest and all of those things secures you and secures your area and your space around you but let me know what also oh yeah let me know what your idea of security is also in the comments i cannot wait to get some feedback on this please also do not forget to inbox me or leave a comment on a topic or something that you're interested in me touching on because i really want to keep these episodes going they've been a great great help to me in making sure i'm posting things that you guys are generally interested on talking about you are watching now the second episode of the escape where hopefully your ambitions are taking a little bit of a break uh i hope to see you soon next week uh, for our third episode. So, thank you.